Hey guys, it's Divine Damon here, bringing you commentary on a flawless TDM gameplay. Not any, not just a flawless TDM gameplay, but my whole team goes flawless. 7500-0 TDM game, and I would like to bring this to you simply because I have some thoughts on Black Ops 2. I know it is a Black Ops gameplay, this is why I post it with this commentary. Black Ops 2, this, these are my following up thoughts to my last video. If you haven't seen that, check it back, I'll put an annotation on the screen if you guys want. But Black Ops 2, so they have been changing the game over and over. Call of Duty has been changing every single time. It's been slow, it's been fast, it's been medium, but like I'm talking about pace of the game, it's been all over the place sometimes. Model for 3, it was really fast, I would say that. Depending on the map, but usually like 90% of the maps in Model for 3, the pace was really fast. People wanted that, I wanted that, most of the community wanted that, I believe. I talked to my friends, they all like, oh, I love Newtown because of this, and then everyone likes Hard Hat, everyone likes Dome, everyone all looks, likes those small maps. So, I think that's what Model for 3 was trying to do. But, Black Ops needs to slow it down just a little bit, so that people don't move as fast, I think. And Black Ops should have these, like Nuketown, I think Nuketown was a good map, but if they put more like strategy into Nuketown, not just one side of the map and the other side of the map, I think they will have some really good maps. They really, I think the map creators are what make or break the game. Dome was a really good map, don't get me wrong, Dome was, I think that was actually a pretty good map, because it was small, but it wasn't too small, and it wasn't like Nuketown, simple. It wasn't as simple as Nuketown. There was top dome, there was bottom dome, bottom dome, and there was the inside building where people can camp in, but you can hold them inside the building with strategies, but I think Black Ops 2 needs their map creators to do a little better on the map creation, because although there are some really good maps in Black Ops, I think most of them were too slow. I think the feeling of the character was too slow, it felt a lot like, a lot less like Call of Duty to me, but... Black Ops did have a very slow gameplay and it felt really easy, I'm not trying to be like... You could just camp in Black Ops, I believe, and you could just win every single time. That's why this gameplay was possible. If you just camp one side of the map, your team can win. You could eat so many bullets, and you could just never die. You're just a machine that could never die, it seems like, in this game. If you just play careful, you can win. I like that aspect, but at the same time I don't. So, I'm somewhere in between Marvel for 3 and Black Ops. If they have the perfect combination in between those two games, I think they'll have the most successful Call of Duty yet. And if they're able, they, uh, tongue twisted. <laughs> if they have the ability to get in between, like, the feel of COD, um, COD Model for Three and COD Black Ops, then they, I think, they have the perfect Call of Duty in store for us. If Black Ops Two is able to do that, they will be the most successful Call of Duty. That will be the most successful Call of Duty yet. Treyarch just has to know what perks to put in the game, what types of maps, and what types of weapons. And I think if they could balance every single weapon so that all of them are equal, like, I think Marvel for 2, because stopping power was implemented, that every weapon was usable, no matter what, it seemed like to me. And all the shotguns were kind of fun to use, and they were a little overpowered. I don't know, Marvel for 2 was crazy. The only thing about Marvel for 2 was the noob tubes, and they ended up fixing that, but... I think if they had Model for 2 feel, and if they took out stopping power, like they did, but and they, it seems like Model for 3 is exactly what I wanted, but it wasn't. It's weird, but it's hard to explain, but I believe that if Model for 2, exactly like Model for 2, just took out noob tubes and danger close, replaced that perk, I think it would have been perfect. Because Model for 2 had that perfect feel to it, the perfect type of maps. Had some really good gameplay, felt really smooth, it felt like a Call of Duty game that was running at 60 frames per second, which is the highest I think it can run on the system. So I like the feel of Model for 2, and if Black Ops can bring back that feel and not feel it like, in Black Ops I feel kind of sluggish a little bit, doesn't flow as smoothly, the weapons don't like flow as smoothly, uh, smoothly. and I believe if they can make it Black Ops feel a lot little more like Infinity Wards types of game, uh, Infinity Wards type of game, then they can really make a, a successful Call of Duty. I'm getting tongue tied for days over here. <laughs> All right, so if they can just, I think if they can make the perfect perk, the perfect balance of perks, maps, and guns, that's all you need. 
That's a successful Call of Duty. COD 4 was perfect, I think. COD 4 still looks perfect, and it still acts perfect as long as there's no hackers, but hackers have taken over the old CODs, and we always have to, like, look forward to the new COD. That's why I'm looking forward to Black Ops 2 and what they're going to do. Is it going to be that perfect COD that everyone's been waiting for for so long? I, l I enjoyed Modern Warfare 2 the most, but COD 4 was my learning ground. That's m that's probably why I didn't enjoy it as much, but I really enjoyed Modern Warfare 2 personally. That might be my favorite Call of Duty, I think, be it, but I know a lot of people say COD 4, and I think COD 4 might be my second favorite, but I, those were the two of the best games ever. Black Ops had a really fun feel. I had some fun playing the game, had my friends all in the lobbies leveling up. That's the thing about COD, leveling up, as I said before. Leveling up is just what you have to do. Prestige, prestige, prestige. Eat, sleep, prestige. That's their motto. <laughs> so, what do you guys think about Black Ops? What do you want to see in Black Ops? Do you want it to be slow? Do you want it to be fast? What kind of maps do you want to see? Do you want the kill streaks to be overpowered? Or do you want the kill streaks to be like, uh, just little itty bitty one two kills max with every kill streak? Do you want there to be no chopper gunner, or to be almost impossible to get a chopper gunner, like Modern Warfare 3 did? Because I think the per the kill streak flow in Modern Warfare 3 was really nice, but the support, the stealth bomber. I know everyone's been talking about it, but support and stealth bomber shouldn't be together. They should really take that out. If you if you could just get an EMP, the, and the EMP, if you get an EMP every single game just using support it seems like you don't need like too much skill to get an EMP and I don't think that's a little fair although assassin cancels it out you still can't call in your kill streak during an EMP so perks and kill streak flow and gun flow has and the game has to be very clean it has to feel clean it has to feel pristine 60 frames per second like Modern Warfare 2 did and I think that would be the perfect Call of Duty that would possibly be the most perfect Call of Duty and as you can see, this game's wrapping down the last couple kills. The chopper gunner is about to go up in the air and get the last few, to kill, uh, few, few, few kills. Here it is. I'm spectating the chopper gunner that wins us the game, 7,500 to 0. But these are just my thoughts on what Black Ops should be like when it comes out. I know it's not going to be what I say because they're not going to use everything they can. They're not. Gonna, they might not even look at this video, but I just want to put some thoughts out there, some thought-provoking questions, some answers, and see if they actually will do it. That's just what I think Call of Duty should be like.